Let's say you want to go hiking, but it's raining outside, so you don't know where to go. My personal recommendation is going to a waterfall. Today, we are going to Twin Falls, coming right up. Yeah, it's cold. Welcome to Ecoesk, where I, Daniel Kim, try to inspire you to get out into nature. Today, come along with me to the Twin Falls Trailhead. Before you go, know that Twin Falls is part of the Alali Washington State Park, so that means you need a Discovery Pass in order not to pay penalty. It's around $10 a day, or you can do the Yearly Pass, which costs $30. This gives you access to all the state parks in Washington, and so I would totally recommend this pass if you want to buy one. You can buy these passes usually at the entrance of a Washington State Park trailhead. Just follow the instructions on the machine, don't worry, you don't need to have cash. Card is accepted as well. The Olali Washington State Park is a 2,336 acre park east of Seattle. It was made in 1950 by the purchase of 160 acres by the Washington State Parks. They initially named the park Twin Falls State Park. But in 1976, there was an expansion and the following year the name changed from Twin Falls to the Alali Washington State Park. The meaning behind Alali is salmonberry and that is from the Chinook language. This was due to the high amount of salmonberry in the region. This is a fairly popular hike, it's on the easy side and you'll be right next to a beautiful river for most of the hike. So if you're looking for a casual and relaxing day, I recommend going to this area. The views here are absolutely incredible. The river you're looking at is the South Fork Snoqualmie River. It's 30 miles long and it goes all the way to the Snoqualmie Falls and eventually empties into the Puget Sound. Looking at the nature, you can see many of the commonly found trees. Check out our usuals like the Suga heterophylla and a Thuja plicata. And here's a new one for you guys, the big leaf maple, Acer macrophyllum. You can usually tell these trees apart even without the leaves by just checking out the large amounts of mosses and lichen on the bark. While the park initially started in the 20th century, a lot of stuff happened in the 21st century as well. In 2006, there was a record flood that more or less wiped off the trail that we see here today. In more recent history, in 2014, there was another flood that damaged the trail, but because of the maintenance crews here, we were able to quickly access the falls quite easily. The maintenance crews do a great job of maintaining the trails. If you're interested in doing trail work, there are lots of organizations that offer these kind of jobs, especially in the summer. They're probably hiring right now, so look into places like the Washington Conservation Corps. After ascending a large hill, we have finally made it. Here's the view of the Twin Falls. Actually, because of all that extra rain, there's been a massive increase in the amount of water pouring out of here. The reason why you come to waterfalls when it's raining is because you see it like this! You actually can't differentiate between the two streams, it's just one giant waterfall. Truly, it is sites like these that make traveling to waterfalls in the rain worthwhile. After viewing the waterfall, we decide to keep going just to see what lies ahead. Over here, there are even less people walking around. Where this trail will take us, we don't know. From the distance, we heard the sound of automobiles. I think that there might be a highway nearby. Oh snap! Well, finally, we got oh, to the yes. end, and oh, guess what? God. There was nothing. Oh, it was actually just an entrance to the, the same trail. Side. After discovering this, my friend and I decided to turn back. It's a lot easier because of the downhill. When you go back to your car, you get to see a different perspective of the same nature that you saw earlier today. Take your time and appreciate the landscape that's around us all. Nope, we got to the end. There it is. 
Join me next time on EcoWisk and I hope that I inspire you to get out into nature. Go out there and be inspired. Peace.